you must discern and understand the controlling powers over regions and over territories you want to become a prophetic intercession uh, intercessor you must understand discern and understand the controlling powers over regions and over territories Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13 please look up there are many people who pray and pray and miss prophetic intercession is not just prayer request these are deeper levels of prayer that work with high level spiritual intelligence this was Daniel remember when the angel came to him Gabriel now he was giving him an explanation as to why he came late he says but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days but lo Michael one of the chief princes came to help me and I remained there with the king of Persia what was the king of Persia fighting verse 14 now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall who thy people he was not attacking Daniel he was attacking salvation that was coming to the people through the revelation that will be given to Daniel. And he discerned the prince of Persia. He kept praying. He set himself to fast and pray for 21 days for the answer to come. Can I tell you this? Please look at me. The Bible does not leave the believer in the dark as to the fact that Satan has an organized demonic structure. This is not teaching or glorifying Satan, but it's the truth from Scripture. It was Paul in his Pauline epistle that opened us up to that spiritual stratification of demonic activities to the end that we be enlightened. Are we together now? Most believers are completely ignorant as to the devices of the enemy. And we just wave it and say, no problem. Jesus has died. That's all right. When they teach you in driving schools, why do they talk to you about accidents and other things do they plan to kill you no but that awareness is important is that true you ask pilots when they train them they simulate different scenarios of plane crashes so that they build a management system around it the goal is not for them to crash but that that possibility exists in their entire time and it is better that they are enlightened do not be ignorant, he said, of the devices of the enemy. Satan has devices. And many believers are ignorant. And Satan rides upon our ignorance to begin to cause us a plethora of catastrophes. God is bringing light to us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. How do you know? The controlling powers over territories look at me you study the controlling powers over territories by looking at the prevalent patterns that are within that territory you can know the spirits that control territories and please hear me if you're a minister of the gospel hear this and learn this so that when God sent you to a territory you don't just go and get a building or build and start you have to understand what you are confronting there are territories where you don't find old people there. You get to a certain age range, there is a spirit that cuts you off. There are territories where you don't find children. You find very old people, but they renew their lives with children. There are territories where it is the women that feed the men. Once you are within that territory, as a woman, you are the man, and the man is the woman. Born again, tongue talking. But you find out that the men are limited the house is paid for by the woman don't feel bad i'm not i'm not trying to look down on you but it ought not to be so that is not god's order are we together now there are families where the parents are always greater than the children you can give birth to eight children the highest of them will become something you are not proud of saying no matter how hard working have you seen people travel to america after 10 20 years they return back like armed robbers they look like the spirit of the city there are cities you enter and you can remember everything from when you were a child nothing changed 
regardless and in that city they will tell you the best professor came out from that city in the best the it people people come out from that city to bless the world and yet the city does not change there are spirits that keep it yes sir how about spirits of poverty you hear that someone was doing well and just came to a city and he starts going down until he looks like the city you want to become an intercessor yes this also applies to families there are families where things don't work please don't I hope you understand what I'm teaching you now yes father was educated and serious mother was educated and serious all the children graduates grandchildren graduates and yet nobody can have a decent job the most successful person the longest person who worked there worked only three years go and read your bible now i hope you understand what i'm teaching you now i'm not trying to get you emotional if i mention a case that relates to yours i hope you understand that i'm just teaching generally do we understand now there are families for instance where the greatest people who represent the strength of that family always die the moment someone gets a job with nmpc and he says glory be to god he dies so you find a territory with weak people all the people that have the strength to bring deliverance there is a spirit that comes to cut them short you are not an intercessor if you do not understand the burden of the territory what are you praying over you don't just listen an intercessor does not say god give people jobs oh god give people children that's a child's prayer you come to the root of the problem the controlling powers many years ago you've heard it in my teachings many years ago i went to preach somewhere in northern nigeria it was a crusade a can crusade i think or, or something of that sort and through god is my witness i saw several something was happening to the women now i'm not a medical doctor but every time they gave birth they became deaf and dumb immediately not one not two not eight not ten I said I, well, I'm not a doctor but at least I have I did biology enough to know that this is what is the relationship between giving birth and becoming deaf and dumb once you see a prevalent pattern it is not sickness it is a spirit are we together there are family members where children of 12 years have high blood pressure what is the child thinking about you really think that's a disease no 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 even medical science tells us sometimes they trace certain sicknesses and they'll say does your father have it does your mother have it in the name of jesus let me speak over someone any pattern that will not allow your family represent the purposes of god i call upon the god of my covenant this night it lives your life forever please sit down I have seen patterns of poverty over families there are territories where the preachers never break through anointed they love God sincerely some of the the holiest godliest men and yet the territory does not open after 10 years 40 members it declines to 30 during Thanksgiving it goes to 80 and you see the people saying God did you send me if only they understood that there are veils and there are gates over territories listen to what i'm telling you there are controlling powers over territories there are controlling powers over regions there are controlling powers over families don't you think the devil will just fold his arms and watch you and your children just go like that there is a pharaoh that will fight your exodus it takes spiritual intelligence to define your possibilities patterns of bad luck 
patterns of ill health, patterns of widespread barrenness. Mother barren, gave birth only after 10 years. Brothers barren, sister barren is a demonic thing. There are patterns where things that are started never finish. Have you seen those kinds of things? You will see a house, they will tell you they started building this house in 1987. Until now, what is in a house that cannot be built? You will hear that the person who had money and came to build it died there. Have you seen those things? Don't be afraid of what I'm teaching you. It's the truth. You stand upon a territory. Jesus looked over Jerusalem and began to cry. Why was he crying? He saw that there was a spirit that casted blindness on the people. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, he said, if thou had known even in this thy time the things that pertain unto your peace, but they are hidden from you.